Hello YouTube, I found this footage here that's supposedly authentic alien footage and I'm basically going to talk to you about how it appears to have been enhanced, at least digitally, uh, in production and also the possibilities of how they could have pulled this alien off. Now I've seen plenty of films and plenty of makings of, so I think this one pretty much fits that bill. Now here you can see the top part here bending. See how it's bending? And it's meant to look like a film that's been frayed or that the, that the edges of the negatives have been torn off or something. But if you look at it really closely at this slow-mo here, it's perfectly straight and it bends. It's basically just warping the image for us. So that to me is clearly some type of an effect that was put on after this production, whether it's real or not. Some say this blinking is too good to be faked, but his eyelids don't completely cover his eyes, so why have eyelids if they don't cover your eyes completely? Now this footage I have slowed down so you can not only see the fake detailing here of, uh, of trying to make it look vintage, but you can even see a little fade line like if you're recording a, a television with a video camera. Now this looks convincing because they have the camera and they're forcing the perspective on you. For all we know, this could be a three-foot puppet or a four-foot young child with a mask on, who knows? Uh, but what I love is it's obvious that they're wearing some kind of a shirt backwards <laughs> to give it that alien look. See, there's no like hems or anything there, so it's like a smock, basically. Um, and also, again, his eyelids don't completely close. And here, we're supposed to see this measuring stick that measures something. What? I'm, I'm unsure of. Now, another telltale sign for me, which was cleverly done by the producers, is this frame changing we're hearing. Now, if this was done with like an 8mm bell and howl or something, they didn't have sound. So how can we hear the changing of the frames like that? It, that doesn't make sense. Now here to refresh your visual palette, <clears throat> I've put together some authentic 8mm footage of a wedding. This I found on YouTube. As you can see, um, it's very sensitive to light, and the uh, specs and everything, the distortion on the image is unpredictable. There's no frayed edges here. I'm assuming it's been cropped because it doesn't have the rounded edges that 8mm usually did um, with home films. And again, you can see basically, uh, you know, just the regular way that this footage is supposed to look, the way that the light reacts in certain ways. And you really had to light your subjects well with 8mm. Seems very difficult to film. Okay, so uh, now that we're done looking at this, take a look at the alien footage. You tell me if it's 8mm. Okay, so let's take a look at this footage again now that we've seen real 8mm film. And as you can see, it just does not have the look and feel to it. There's no crispness. This was also, I'm assuming this is supposed to be indoors, just like our wedding. And uh, this alien should be much more lit up, and they would have had to put one, uh, you know, spot lamp on him to brighten him up. And there's just not a lot of shadows that I'm seeing. I mean, yes, on that side of his face. Uh, this is included in the footage. It's supposed to be a craft. It's, it looks like a top of a can. So I'm not trying to use this to at all debunk the possibility of alien life. Um, I am merely trying to debunk this video. Uh, aliens that have eyelids that don't completely cover their eyes, that is illogical. And again, think like a magician, you know. Uh, we're only being shown one camera angle here. Uh, a wrangler could be to the left here um, of that shelf. And this could, again, just be the top of a tin can. So use your brain, kids. Take it easy.